am going to teach you how to make um, or how to hang plates without plate hangers today. Um, I have been wanting to do this for nine months, maybe ten. Uh, I've been wanting to do it with our wedding plates. So our wedding was coffee and tea themed and um, all of our tables were named after coffee drinks. So each table we had a saucer and I had written um, the name of the drink. I don't know if you could see that. Um, the name of the drink, the how to make the drink, and then um, this was at the end of the table so they knew which table to go to um, once they saw the seating key. So these are all the ones from our wedding. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight total. Um, so I've been really wanting to hang these in our apartment just because it's so much like such a good memory and so fun to think about. And I didn't want to buy plate hangers because they can be pretty expensive. Um, so I wanted to do something ourselves uh, to save a little money on that. So to do this tutorial, um, to hang your plates, you're going to need a Sharpie or um, a permanent marker. This is just a permanent marker. To mark uh, where you want your plates, obviously a plate. So I'm not going to want to accidentally like put it here. I won't be able to hang it right. So I want to make sure that I'm putting it right in the right place so that it hangs the way I want it to. Um, so yeah, we're going to mark that, and then you will need um, E6000 glue, um, and then paper clips. Um, I think these would be considered jumbo. I don't know. Um, I don't know if you could see it, because they're black. So I don't know. They might not be jumbo, maybe just regular paper clips. Um, but these I got at the 99 cent store. And I like that they were black because they matched the plates. So yeah, um, I'm going to jump on over to the table. I'm going to zoom in and that way you guys can see what I'm doing. And I'll show you the comp completed project at the end. I'll probably just do like one or two with you guys and then fast forward so you don't have to watch me do all of it. So yeah, here we go. Hey guys, so I'm going to start by moving some of these out of the way. Um, I don't know how I'm going to arrange them on the wall yet, but I just know, um, that I need to turn them and mark them so I have the right place to hang them. So probably about here. So like I said, I'm going to mark it with a Sharpie. Um, and then if it doesn't come out right then you can always take it off. That is the good thing about this. And you could use any size plates, but I prefer to use the smaller ones because first of all, this is what I needed to hang. But I just think that it would work better for you. I'd be a little bit worried um, to do big plates with this. So, like I said, I'm trying to get it the best that I can. so that they're not going to be on the wall really long. Okay. And once I mark it, I'm going to go ahead and start the glue for you guys. And I know they're not going to be perfect because I didn't do these perfect. So, all right guys. So I have all of our plates marked now. Whoa. So now I am going to take the E6000 glue and the paper clips and I am going to start. Um, I'm going to start with one that's more of like flush, I should say. So I'm going to start with this one. So I'm going to squeeze quite a bit on. And this glue is really strong, guys, and it smells really strong. So just be aware of that. And then once I put it on, I'm just going to put some more glue. Just to make sure that it's really going to stay on. So I'm just going to set it to the side and let it dry show you guys one more. I'm not for sure that you can see that. So 
Again, I'm going to squeeze the two. Get quite a bit out here. It's a lot of glue. And then I'm going to take it and put it there. And then I'm going to add a little more glue on top. Because this one is not as shallow as that one was. So yeah, that's how we're doing the glue. And just set it aside to dry for at least 24 hours. Alright guys, our last and final thing to do before we um, put them on the wall. So right now I finished all eight of the plates and I have them drying, like I said. Let them dry for at least 24 hours. Um, the next thing that we're going to do is to do a cut out on paper or wax paper, whatever you want to use. Um, I am going to use just plain paper. So I have two different plate shapes, only one um, is different. So I'm going to cut out, so I'm going to trace them with my permanent marker, doesn't have to be perfect, but this is just so you can lay them out on the wall and know how they're going to look. So after you've traced it, if you only have one plate shape or if you want to trace each one individually, whatever works for you. So I'm going to do my two separate plate shapes. Um, I'm going to use a permanent marker if you're going to use these plates. These ones I am not, and they're black on the outside anyways. So, just going to take them and cut them out. It doesn't have to be perfect, but just so you know where you want to put each plate, um, so you can have a general layout. So for me, I'm going to be putting it around a picture frame um, that's in our dining room area where our cooking table is. So I just want to make sure I have enough um, equal space between each and kind of practice how I want to lay out each table um, name. So that's why I'm doing this. Um, so yeah, just do a cutout, a paper cutout, or whatever you want to cut out. And I will show you the end result um, tomorrow. So. Yeah, hold tight. The follow-up on the plates. So I'm going to show you how I hung them, what they're looking like. So yeah, come on with me. So I had one of them hanging on the wall. So you can partially see it. I'll zoom in. Um, but they're on the wall. I'm really frustrated that it won't, like, I can't find a good angle so that you guys can actually like see the full wall. Um, so I'll include a picture of that. But I wanted you to just see how it turned out. So I did my mark over here and then I did a second mark for it right here. So here it is, just the paper clip and the glue. And you just go up to it, let's zoom. See if we can do this. Whoa, don't want to see me. So there's a thumbtack on the wall here. And just put it there. That's what it looks like. It's like a full circle all the way around. Um, I'll include the picture so you can look at it. Um, try this. Send me some pictures of what you guys do. And yeah. Um, Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this video, push like. If you have any comments or questions, leave me a comment below and I'll get to them. And if you like my channel, subscribe. Yeah, thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>